Hi and good morning beautiful Geminis. Welcome back to the channel. I'm having a sip of coffee Gemini. I've been trying to get these reads out. I've got this little terror puppy chasing my feet guys so bear with me if you see him or hear him. He's just running amok. Gemini energy. Please spirit what is going on for the beautiful Geminis. Gemini Thank you so much for your beautiful comments, your likes, and your subscriptions. I want to welcome all you new Geminis to the channel. You guys are amazing. Just know that. Uh, feeling retrograde energy, and it hasn't even come yet. It's at least a week or two away, guys, but I am already feeling it. So I don't know if you guys are. Let me know. It's emotional. I don't know what's going on. And no, during the retrograde, a lot of these exes want to return. So let's find out what's going on, Gemini. Flexibility here. Success. Oh, what is this? Why is there three? There's a tiger, a jaguar, and a wolf, a white wolf spirit here. So flexibility, success, and purity, some kind of purification during relaxation. Expect to see something, I don't know, wonders. Leadership, hmm, you'll be thriving. Simplifying something, simplicity, something simple, something pure, relaxation what's going on here for Gemini these are great positive energies for Gemini who is taking leadership here who is trying to be flexible there's something successful something you're going to be relaxing and thriving about hmm. wonder something somebody going through. oh this card wants to show the world in reverse upright it says a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight so it's almost like saying there's no closure or something has not come full circle yet maybe it is distance let's see what's going on here somebody the lovers <laughs> gemini make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitments the power of love so something isn't over maybe somebody is actually taking leadership here i don't know five of michael the situation doesn't serve you release your attachment to the outcome consider taking a more uplifting approach so i don't know if this is you or if this is the other person but this is your energy of the lovers and it is making a choice something that does no longer serve you uh, maybe it's done or maybe it is the it hasn't come full circle yet i don't know it doesn't serve you something a new beginning yes starting a new life finding your purpose and forgiving and a forgiving and compassionate review of the past so this could be that somebody doesn't want it to be over or it is not come full circle yet and you're trying to make a choice is something is no longer serving somebody and you're on a new beginning starting a new life what's going on time justice hmm. fight for justice and equality rulings made in your favor don't give up everything happens for a reason release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Mm -hmm. What's going on here for Gemini? You're thriving. Something is thriving. You're, 
you're thriving. Maybe somebody wouldn't be flexible. And it's like a great deal of activity, activity, sudden and immediate results, important communications coming in. You can do anything right now, Gemini. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. There's some kind of message of justice coming in. Somebody we met want a new beginning in love. And it's almost as if saying is something hasn't come full circle yet or already has completed a cycle. It was no longer serving you and maybe you're on a new beginning. You're going to have some kind of justice here. What is this saying? Material needs get fulfilled in a magical and unexpected way. Acts of kindness, giving and receiving with a grateful heart. You have some sort of epiphany, joy through spiritual growth. Be the light to others, answers that come through meditation. So either you have got an epiphany or this other person has gotten an epiphany. Uh -huh. A gift of passion, an opportunity, an inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. And we have the wonder card. So, uh, the emperor, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So maybe somebody's getting in a fire lit under their ass, Gemini. Release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. So maybe this emperor would not take leadership. I don't know. Maybe they were too stubborn to change. Would not be flexible. Somebody's gotten some sort of, of epiphany here. And it's almost like you may not have even closed out the cycle properly. Or that there was no closure even. You are getting some kind of justice here, okay? A new opportunity, an epiphany, the lovers, a new beginning. You've got me maybe making a choice in love. Maybe this past person wants to return, but there's someone new who wants to come in and you are thriving. I don't know what this is saying. Let's find out through the tarot about Gemini. Okay, what about this emperor and what's this emperor's situation? got an epiphany of some there's the lovers again and here is some kind of communication or hearing the truth or speaking or communicating some kind of truth this is gemini energy making a decision in love or someone is making a decision about you or communicating to you Feeling stuck. What the hell? It's suspended in animation. Maybe they got an epiphany. Maybe they want to start giving. I don't know what this is. Gemini, what about this emperor? What's going on with this emperor energy? I don't know. Maybe you're single. Maybe this is Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. You are thriving. It's like maybe somebody is looking toward the future and seeing a future commitment with you. I don't know. Feeling guided to do something guided in a direction. What's this? 
receiving some sort of, a, of an epiphany about waiting to be some sort of rest or recovery or a separation or a breakup that's been hurtful this emperor it's an emperor who maybe is trying to rest and recover receive some sort of epiphany want to is guided toward the future seeing someone single and abundant and wanting commitment I don't know is scared of commitment okay okay he agrees Tucker agrees He's saying go for it do it <laughs> I'm scared of commitment here is the world want scared of ending something or scared of something is happening uh with a tower here in a family situation at a distance they're afraid of something afraid of commitment or hiding something they're working on ending something now that's with every ending there is a new beginning i don't know what this is saying they want to restart something making a decision in love had a choice in love or gemini does this is wanting to travel or come what the hell they want commitment now they want to move they want to travel they want to move in they want a commitment now they want to restart something are they strategizing somebody set up boundaries or are they resisting commitment are they afraid of commitment are they sneaking away from a commitment what's going on with this person obstacles facing obstacles and challenges and it's like they're trying to sneak away or push away taking leadership and action to push away somebody a queen of cups they're trying to sneak away from a queen of cups a baby mama energy taking leadership they're trying to push away somebody who the past wants to return they want to return to the past They've made a decision about a past person or something about justice, wanting to make things fair with their empress. That's what it's saying. Maybe before they were afraid of commitment. Maybe before they were afraid of, of uh, they've received some sort of an epiphany during separation. Uh, they feel guided to the future. They feel like they look... They're still holding on to this single, abundant, wealthy person at a distance. Something has shocking come out about a family situation and it caused some sort of ending. And now it's looking like they figured out that they should have put the work in with this empress and done right by this empress who probably is in the past and they're having fond memories and now they want this commitment and want to travel and want to restart things. <laughs> And they've made some sort of judgment to take a leadership role with 
Maybe they took action on a baby mama and now they're pushing the baby mama away, trying to sneak away because they're fighting and arguing and there's too many challenges and they are spying on the past person and they are missing them or they are feeling this, this situation isn't serving them any longer. This is learning. This is learning a lesson. This is commitment. This is, um, it is learning a lesson about watching somebody watching and missing somebody learned a lesson. They're, they're feeling left out in the cold or that they were feeling like the situation isn't serving. This commitment isn't serving them any longer. Wanting to change or things have changed. What's this? Ooh, they want to come back around to the person they love. Maybe this is, yeah, they are in, they're heavily burdened. They love someone. This is an earth angel and who is very patient, who's been very patient and tolerant with them. And something is weighing on them. They're depressed. They're like, I think they're in regret. I do. They're in love with this person from their um, past. They are. It's an empress who they are. They receive some kind of epiphany moment. What? Maybe somebody cut them off because they were juggling or they were unsure. They couldn't make up their mind. And they were figuring that, I don't know, they were figuring something, with their weighing something out about their happiness and their stability. Trying, maybe they were in their ego. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to manifest this person back. What's going on? Uh, third party heartbreak. They're hurt. It's hurting them. Whatever this is, they're in their emotions and they're hurt. It's like they could have had a victory here, but they doubted something or they didn't trust some kind of communication they want a victory they want to talk to this empress they want to ride in with a victory it's like i don't know if they trusted i don't know if they're thinking you won't trust them if they talk to you or that you're not going to trust what they have to say because of what they did in the past there was a third they're hurt They're thinking about making some type of an apology, but they think that you're going to be, I don't know if they were, um, you're angry at them because they didn't apologize or they want to come rushing in, but they are holding back. There's some kind of blockage. It's like they couldn't make a decision. They didn't want to see something. They're holding on to some kind of anger or resentment about somebody blocking, uh, say, giving to two or breadcrumbing, being slow to give. Ooh, toxic. Could be a fear of commitment, or maybe they chose to give to a karmic energy and now they're hurt by the devil this devil was greedy
something to do with things using their intuition somebody using their intuition or is keeping something quiet this uh pentacle why mm. it's like they feel trapped they were rushing into something or had some kind of player energy and now they're trapped i don't know they're looking at somebody it's like they should have rushed in to give some kind of uh gift but there was too much fear or worry or feeling trapped and they see someone very as their destiny but what the hell this is could have been that they are in the five of sword energy they were like worried afraid it's like they acted like they didn't care or they were jealous and envious and now they've got a living nightmare with some kind they want to walk away Fear of success. It's like they self-sabotage this. They did. They self-sabotage their own union. Thinking maybe that. They took a risk. It's almost like they're saying there's the lovers again. They had their choice in, of two lovers and they left in the wrong direction. And they walked away from their soulmate and rejected them for a third party. How they want to communicate a painful ending and they regret hurting this person or they're sad that they didn't see what they had now it's come back upon them this truth about the third party it is now they want to communicate some kind of passionate message they can't stop thinking about this Empress. It is darned well about the retrograde, guys. This person treated the Empress as an option, okay? They were in some sort of confusion, an illusion. They went to an illusion. Uh, maybe they were enticed sexually or something like that. And now they regret hurting. The truth hurts. The third party. They rejected their soul mate and walked away because of another lover and now they're in regret and they wished that they had chosen the empress so the retrograde is saying that this person has had an epiphany of who their soulmate is they chose a karmic over a true love they were confused somehow they didn't know what to do it's something to do with family and now it's looking like they want to come back in they want to tell you that they choose you that you are their only choice that's a retrograde oh.
<laughs> Things are end, coming to an end with some other lover. And now they're stressing out because they've received an epiphany. This hangman is the epiphany. This is an epiphany. Of who their true love is. They're single. This true love is single and abundant as hell. Very confident, very um, a leader. Yeah, a go-getter, a hard worker. Um, they are, uh, they gave up the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles for a karmic lover. And they are just figuring that out now. They got an epiphany. Ooh. <laughs> These energies, guys, I'm just saying, I don't know, because it's looking now like Gemini is on a new beginning, uh, getting offers. I think this person got to run for their money because I see that Gemini is just being chill here, thriving. I, I don't know. On a new beginning, being successful and starting to see some fruits of their labors, some wonders. And this person, might be coming around to see how flexible you're going to be. Maybe they want to be flexible now. Maybe they want to cooperate now. I don't know. They don't like where they are, I can tell you that. And you're on a new beginning and you are going forward. And something very powerful is going to happen. You're going to start to see some wonders and you'll be thriving. And it's like you had to detox from this situation in order to have success in your own life. And then uh, like this is fast moving. The Jaguar is very, very, very fast, very stealth. You know what I mean? And um, I don't know. I So if this person comes back to Gemini's life, what can Gemini expect to see happen? If the past person tries to come back into Gemini's life, what do you think will happen, Spirit? What is... Angels and demons? And they will walk away again. They're still toxic. And you'll have to heal. This is the truth. What will happen if this past person in Gemini's life returns? It'll end in a tower. They'll offer very little, they'll walk away, and it'll end in a tower again. Because this person is scared of leadership. They'll self-sabotage it again. They're still in this nightmare energy. Uh, they're too scared to take a leadership role, and you are going to communicate with them they are out seeking attention, okay? They want a victory with you, but they like a lot of attention. They're still in their ego. You make them happy, but they block their own happiness. They self-sabotage. And it's like they're, they're got hidden anger and hidden resentments about finances or they self-sabotage they're in this i'm they're always lacking they're always in lack somehow and it's like they're angry about 
they got a lot of rage and frustration and internal angers, fears, worthiness issues. Um, they like being single. They want to juggle because they're afraid that it's their own insecurities that they struggle with. And it's like... They want to move toward this empress. They always want this empress back. Will this person put in what what are this person's intentions? They can never make a decision about commitment. They can never choose. They they're defensive. They're always on guard. They're defensive emotionally. It's like this person has closed their emotions down. They, it's nothing that Gemini has done. It's from their own past, their own insecurities. They like the single life and they like taking risks. They like being single. a fool like I don't see you opening your emotions to this emperor I don't know maybe they're too stubborn mm, I don't know they like having their options Yep, they like juggling. They like, they're in their ego. They like their options. You will cut them off. There you are. It is foolish communication. This person, you're speaking to them, Gemini. You're looking at them saying, speak the truth. They're like, I'm telling the truth. Uh, it's cold. It's cold. They're, emo they're emotionally a fool, immature. They're in their ego. They like juggling. They like having options. And it's almost like... It's like you're pulling teeth trying to get the truth out of this person. It ends in regret. It's sad. Angry. Bitter. Resentful. You know what I mean? They don't trust. This person has trust issues. They like being a player. And that's just the way it is. They're, they're like defensive. And it's like... This person keeps thinking about their soulmate and that they could have the Ten of Cups with them, but something has to change in order for this person to be happy. And it's like, they're self-centered, okay? And it'll end. And it's like, the come in, communicate, and walk away for another third party. This person is a fool. Plain and simple. 
they're a time waster, Gemini. Uh, there is definitely someone new in your future. That's what spirit. That's not going to be for everybody, but for the majority, it obviously is. Don't go back. Go forward, and uh, this person will come in and waste your time again, and you will have to go through the cycle all over again. But some of you need to. But it's like this person's insecurity issues are their own. They have nothing to do with you, Gemini. It's their own issues. They refuse. Spirit saying, release the past and you'll grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. So this person just use your intuition. It's all about your intuition. They're going to make you sad. And it's like, yeah, it's going to end up in heartbreak again. And in separation, it ends with a hurt uh, who needs it man take care beautiful gemini's